The Lord's thoughts are higher than our thoughts, and his ways are higher than our ways. Isaiah chapter 55, verses 8 and 9. For my thoughts are not your thoughts, neither are your ways my ways, saith the Lord. For as the heavens are higher than the earth, so are my ways higher than your ways, and my thoughts than your thoughts. So God is letting us know, look, just because you thinking that way, that don't mean that, that he's thinking that way. Just because you would handle the situation that way, that don't mean that God will handle the situation that way. God wants us to know that, that the way that we think is not the way that he think. It can't even compare. The mind, human mind can't even fathom. And the way that we will handle things is not the way that God will handle them. We can't never get to that place, my friend, where we think that God having, is having the same thoughts that we are having. We can never get to that place where we want to handle situations in our lives. And thinking that that's how God will handle the situation. Because what will happen is we will fall into a ditch. We will fall into a pit that we will dig for ourselves because we didn't follow the instructions of God. And we will get outside of the will of God. And I don't know about you, my friend, but from experience, I know what it's like. To get outside of the will of God. I know what it's like to try to handle things the way that I wanted to handle them. And because I'm a Christian, I feel as if, well, this is the way the Lord will handle it. And I will end up in a situation that only God can get me out of when I shouldn't even have to bother God about this situation because I should have just seeked him to begin with. Proverbs chapter 3, verse 5. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding and all thy ways acknowledge him and he shall direct thy paths be not wise in thine own eyes fear the lord and depart from the evil so the lord said this is what i want you to do i want you to trust in me with all of your heart i don't want you to lean on your own understanding i don't want you to try to handle these situations by yourself i don't want you to be wise in your own eyes i don't want you to think that you can figure this out by yourself i don't want you to think that this is the way that i want you to go or this is the place that i want you to be if that's not my will for you because you would get outside of my will so the lord said what i want you to do is i want you to trust in me with all of your heart don't trust in your own heart because your heart is deceitful above all things it's desperately wicked it, who can know it but rather what the lord want us to do he said he want us to acknowledge him in all of our ways and he will direct our paths now and what it means to acknowledge it means to to admit something or to recognize or to confess so when we acknowledge the lord in all of our ways we have to first recognize lord I, if i put my hands in this situation i'm gonna make it worse than it already is lord if i try to figure this out by myself lord i am gonna end up in a place that i'm going to regret Oh, Lord, I admit and I confess, oh, Lord, that I have tried to do things myself in my life, oh, Lord, and I've only made things worse, oh, Lord. I've caused myself to end up in destruction, oh, Lord. So I admit, Lord, I confess that I need you, Jesus. I need you to help me, Lord God. That's how we acknowledge the Lord in all of our ways before we make any decisions or before we take any paths or before we do things that we think God wants us to do. We got to understand that his thoughts are higher than our thoughts and his ways are higher than our ways. So it's important, my friend, that we seek the Lord with all of our heart before we make any decisions in this life, especially in this Christianity walk, this walk with Jesus Christ. Hallelujah.